also got to consider how we defend and how we back up points, and we do this with the quotation. Now, the quotation is something which has been routinely misused in the past. Today, we are told that we must not plagiarise. Uh, this would have been a nonsensical concept to a first century uh, Greek or a first century Roman. Uh, they routinely adopted somebody else's name to give um, uh, credibility to their, to their writings. Um, this is something that we're not allowed to do. We're also supposed to attribute our quotations. We're supposed to tell people where we got them from. Now, that's the, that, that's the legal business out of the way. What you've got to do is to use a quotation in a clever way. Now, imagine you've got six brilliant quotations. You've got 35 or 40 minutes in which to write your essay. You're probably not going to have time to use all six of those quotations. You have to choose very carefully because a quotation, by definition, requires three sentences. A sentence to establish the quotation, to use the quotation, to quote, and then to explain the quotation. It's like taking a jewel from a ring, looking at a ring. And you, you look at the ring and you think, oh gosh, what a wonderful ring, uh, how, how, how bright and glistening it is, how, how sparkly it is. And then you take the jewel out of the ring, if you're a jeweller, and you look at that again and you can, you can turn it round and you can see it by many different facets. Well, in your essay, you're only interested in one or two facets. You're not interested in the whole thing. Mm. Now, uh, if you get your quotation right, uh, you, uh, you're, 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 going, you're going to win with your essay. You can't, you can't use every quotation that you've got in your head. Now, not only can you use quotations, of course, you might um, be able to um, refer to characters or events um, without necessarily explicitly quoting. This is useful too. But the, the art of the quotation requires these three points these three sentences, establishing, using the quotation, and explaining the quotation. There is no point in making your quotation longer than the things that you are writing. I have seen essays where the quotation is twice the length of the, um, of, of, of the original work written by the student. This is absurd. Your quotation should be brief and ad rem to the point. If you follow these steps, you will, you will write a brilliant essay. There is no question.